It's the NFL on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Raiders and the G-Men, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here in London. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Minshew going to look to throw it right away. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. First carry of the game for Zamir White. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. Here's Minshew. Here's White, they set up the screen. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15 from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now Minshew. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Holding. Offense. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. Down. And so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Off play action, it's Minshew. In trouble, and he's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O line and recorded the sack. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48-yard punt, but 10 on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. The Giants offense ready to go to work, and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he played in six games, going one and five over that span with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Throwing Jones. Hyatt able to make the catch downfield. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. No score after one on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 
A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now Jones. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did they drop, it looked like an interception in the end zone. They blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Now a second and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Greg Joseph now to try the field goal. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Joseph's got it. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So hit. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Third and 12. Out of the gun is Minshew. Being chased out left. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken at the 23. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And they will take over first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Second down and ten. Back to throw, Jones. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. On third down, they go with Singletary. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll throw now on the final play. And his pass incomplete. So we've hit halftime, just getting through the break at record pace and right back to football, third quarter, here we go. 
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And bulldozing his way through. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Giants offense set to begin this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. From the 41, here's second and three. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three. Singletary going to get the handoff. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. third down and four. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. The left side throw complete to Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Jones operating from the gun. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Welcome back now here in London. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Jones now from the gun on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made at about the 38. In motion left goes Myers. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Flush to his right. 
And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Second and six coming up. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. A big play looming on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Minshew. Pass complete. It's Madison. And he is going to lose yardage here. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are close to finishing off this football game. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Raiders are going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Singletary again. And he is going to have a New York first down, and the Giants are going to win the football game. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They run here with Singletary, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Singletary is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10-0. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. So that last touchdown sealed it there, partner, and then the kickoff there at the end, just a formality to knock the final seconds off and send everyone home. Yeah, it's awfully nice when you're kicking off late knowing that even if you give up a big return or a touchdown, it doesn't matter, right? You mentioned the word formality. Good job by them putting themselves in that situation where kicking off did not matter. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say cheerio from London.